Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and Acid and Base Reactions. This is video number 14 and we're going to be introducing this concept of conjugate acid base pairs. One of the things that's very important um, as a consequence of the bronsted lara definition of acids and bases is that we can identify conjugate pairs. Now conjugate pairs are acid base pairs that just differ by one proton in their formula. There's a huge number of examples of these and we'll look at all of these in a range of different reactions, but you can see just the one that I've put here, the ammonia NH3 form and the ammonium ion NH4 plus form differ in the um, presence or absence of a proton, an H plus. So if I add an H plus to NH3, I get NH4 plus, or if I subtract an H plus from NH4 plus, I get NH3. The same is true of hydrochloric acid and the chloride ion. It's true of water and the hydronium ion. It's also true of water and the hydroxide ion. And there are an endless number of examples of these. All of these are conjugate pairs. One is an acid and one is a conjugate base. Sometimes you might describe one as a base and its conjugate acid. But the difference between these is simply that proton, that H plus that has either um, been donated or accepted by one or other of these species. One of the important things about conjugate pairs is that we can actually use them to start to get a sense of the strength of different types of acids or bases. And this is, I guess, independent of what we've looked at previously, which were mathematic, uh, mathematical expressions for the difference between a strong and a weak acid. Now we get a chance to have a look at what's happening in terms of the conjugates. The equilibrium position of the acid-base system is actually generally determined by the relative strength of the base. So if we know what the base is in a conjugate pair, then we can get a bit of a sense of the strength of its conjugate acid. So if, for example, I pick the top one, if the base is uh, the chloride ion, then the conjugate acid, if I add an H and a plus, I get HCl. The fact that this is up there on the um, strongest of the acids, or more specifically on the weakest of the bases. So if we are trying to analyze base strength here, then chlorine, uh, the chloride ion is actually at the lowest end of that scale. It is the weakest base in terms of strength. Therefore, it's going to form, if this is the weakest base, it's going to form the strongest acid. And this is one of the important things about our conjugate pairs. The pair strengths are the reverse. A strong acid has a weak conjugate base and a strong base has a weak conjugate acid. Where we look at something um, that we may be a little bit familiar with, somewhere in the middle of the table here, this is acetic acid. It's the acid that's present in vinegar, also known as ethanoic acid. It's kind of middle of the table. It's conjugate base here and you can see again the difference between these two is just an H plus. Um, but because this is kind of a mid strength middle of the table in terms of its base strength then we know that the conjugate acid the corresponding acid for the acetate ion is also going to be relatively weak certainly not as strong as hydrochloric but stronger than some other options. The one directly underneath it with the bicarbonate ion, HCO3 minus. This is the bicarbonate ion, and so therefore its conjugate acid would be carbonic acid. And again, we know this is the acid that's present in um, carbonated soft drinks. So again, it's a weak acid. It's one that we uh, can consume. Uh, and again, it's, it's kind of middle of the table. You have to kind of go almost to the bottom to see something that's really weak in terms of acid strength. And the one that's second from the bottom is one that kind of probably makes a little bit of sense to us. The hydroxide ion. When the hydroxide ion is in solution, it's very, very strong. So it does not readily accept a proton to form water. And as a consequence of that, we find a lot of hydroxide ions are not 
drawing hydrogen ions out of solution to form water molecules, we find those hydroxide ions can dominate uh, in a solution. So a strong base has a weak conjugate and a weak base has a strong conjugate. Now the only other thing that's probably important to mention just before we wrap this one up is that these don't happen in isolation. Just as we looked at redox reactions as being a transfer of electrons from one species to another, one species being oxidized, one being reduced, the same sort of thing happens here. And even if we're looking at an example such as hydrochloric acid and water, we can identify our conjugates on the basis of the fact that the base will be the species that has lost the proton and the conjugate acid will be the species that has gained the proton. In order for us to identify pairs then we have an acid and its conjugate base. So one pair would be HCl and Cl minus and a second pair would be the base. In this case, water is actually acting as a base because it's accepting a proton to become the hydronium ion, H3O+. Now, of course, this is the sort of situation that you're going to get more often. You're going to have a look at a number of different types of equations, not usually ones that involve a strong acid, such as hydrochloric acid. We're more likely to get examples where, for example, we might have the, um, oops, we might have the uh, bicarbonate ion, and again, we can look at water. And this is going to be an interesting one because you may already realize that the bicarbonate ion can um, act either as an acid or a base, just like water. So let's call it, uh, in this case, uh, a base. So if it's going to be a base, then that means the water is going to act as an acid. The uh, acid is going to donate its proton, so we're going to get get OH minus ions as the conjugate base. And that's going to mean that if the uh, bicarbonate ions accepting that proton, it's going to be an H2CO3. That's the conjugate acid. Practice with these to get your conjugate pairs. You can then write them afterwards um, so that we've got HCO, whoops, that's hard to see, HCO three minus and H2CO3 are going to be one pair and over here H2O and the OH minus are going to be another conjugate pair. Have a practice with some examples to build your confidence in understanding how to recognize and identify conjugate pairs and also to look at the relative strengths of an acid or base based on the uh, strength of its conjugate. Thanks for watching.